All right, what's up everybody? So this week I'm going to talk about basically a, a good order to learn power moves in, okay? Now by all means, if you have your own way of doing things and you, you're set and determined on getting power moves your own way, you don't have to follow this at all. This is just general guidelines for anybody who's stuck and, you know, needs help and is like, what do I learn next? You know, what's a good foundation, blah, blah, blah. So beginners, intermediate, wherever you're at, you know, take a look at this. Could help you out, all right? Okay, so let's start at the bottom here. Basically, the bottom here is just get in general shape. This doesn't mean, like, you have to be anything extreme. It's just a good idea to be in general shape to prevent injury. So you'll notice in the purple, in these purple letters I have on each box, are kind of like little side notes and what you want to be thinking about in the back of your head when you're at each of these levels. What you want to be thinking about at the very beginning is mobility and a stable foundation. So being able to move without getting injured. Basically just a decent cardiovascular so you don't get a heart attack. General shape. Nothing extreme, just general shape. Because I do know there are people out there doing power moves and crazy stuff who have a lot of um, adipose tissue. Now a lot of you guys out there watching this are already in general shape and you're thinking, hey, I just want to start. Okay, so let's start. This is the green. This is stage zero. This is this is stage one. Getting started. Some good moves that I think are a good idea, a good place to get started. Backspin for that simple rotational feeling. Handstands. General upper body strength and general stability and balance. Baby freeze, turtle freeze, and headstands. These are kind of b-boy specific muscle group activations that you'll be working on by working on these, okay? Headstands, you get the neck strength. Turtle freeze, you're getting that strange hold, strange feeling that you, um, that it, that's different in b-boying from a lot of other fitness stuff that you would have got from just general in shapeness. Baby freeze, once again, more, more movements, flexibility, things you want to be working, things you want to be thinking about when you're in the beginning stage, flexibility, Mobility still, so getting more mobile and specific strength. Like I said, you're starting to train moves, simple moves, but moves that are going to develop that specific strength for b-boy power moves, okay? So the handstands, upper body, shoulder strength. Now in this stage, you can evolve on these things a little bit, okay? You can take like handstands, maybe start trying to hop, maybe go from handstand to turtle freeze, whatever, you can start working on, you know, combining things in these, okay? You don't have to master everything here, but you're feeling good from here. You can now move to the next step, okay? And in this next one, I have windmills, halos, head spins, 90s, 2000s, flares, other spins, single hand arm balance moves. And you'll notice that some of these have little asterisks next to them. Basically, that means you can consider these down here, or you can put them in the next the next phase up here, okay? Because um, they are flares are pretty difficult in my opinion, but I put them here because after you master the moves down here or get a general idea for the feel of these, you can start working on flares. In my opinion, it's not a sin, okay? And the little asterisk may also mean that it, you're just starting and it's going to be crappy anyway. So you, you start flares down here, beginner flares, feet touching the ground. Beginner 90s, beginner 2000s, so you you get like one or two spins. And then other spins, maybe you start experimenting elbows, start experimenting a little bit, okay? You start expanding, okay? Stage zero, stage one, now stage two. Windmills, okay? Let's look at that as an example. So combining that feeling of the spinning with backspin, and the turtle or the baby freeze holds that you developed from the stage one, you can now apply and you can start learning windmills. Now I have windmills and halos in the same category because in my opinion, they're different moves and they're not necessarily related. The only thing that's really related in my opinion is the leg motion because windmill, think about it, it's a jump from this shoulder to this shoulder in the front. A halo is a jump around your head, you're jumping around back, okay? That's the difference, in my opinion. It makes them so different that they're in the same category and you can choose to learn either one, rather than getting windmills before halos or halos before windmills. 
However, a lot of people, and even I would agree that it is might be a good, better idea to get windmills before halos, just because halos require a little bit more neck strength, upper body strength, and they're a little bit more confusing. But by all means, based on this chart, and based on my conflicting opinions, you can get halos without getting windmills. You can get anything without getting anything, if you're determined enough and you don't care about anything else. So, windmills, combined from the backspin and the turtle and the baby freeze, you now can get windmills. Halos, you're combining kind of the, your headstand with your turtle or baby freeze. You're getting halos. Headspin, you're combining backspin and headstand. You combine that spin feeling with the headstand neck strength stability. You start learning headspins. You see how it kind of evolves. The whole thing to understanding this chart is just kind of how one evolves to the other. Key points you want to be working on in this stage, stage two, flexibility and momentum. So you're still working on greater flexibility now from the first one, but just by practicing these moves, you're going to get greater flexibility in the legs, the upper body, everywhere. Momentum now. So windmills, you start feeling that feeling of the momentum, the feeling of uh, this strange pull on your body, okay? That's what you want to work on and kind of just get, get an idea about. Okay, let's move on to stage three. I put on here basically kind of like air moves and one of these words I have in the purple up here, which is a, is a general feeling you want to focus on, is flight. Okay, so that's why I have these air power moves up here, like air flares, okay? You're working on the feeling of flights. And then I have flares as well, and an asterisk, okay? Because you take the fl beginner flares that you're kind of learning the hip motion down here, and you evolve on them, and you really get those kicks, and you really get your body off the ground. So they're, they're good flares, you know what I mean? Okay? Also, I have chair flares, and other like flare variations, mill variations, 90s and 2000s with the asterisk, okay, you're flying now. So like five plus spins. Other spins that have been taken to this next air, air level, this flight level. You're starting to fly. 1.5s, yes, because that is basically just letting go and letting gravity take you. You're flying, you land on your back. It's probably a good idea to have these things down before really doing that, but you can do whatever you want. So let's take air flares. Let's take air flares from stage three. What what is where does that come from from these other stages? Okay. So air flare formula, backspin, basic spinning, handstands, turtle freeze. You take that. Halos. Okay. You get the halos. You get that feeling of jumping over the back. Maybe a little bit of flares for hip motions. Single hand arm balance like a pike and stuff. Then you take all that and you put it in air flares, and you start learning with that. That's just a basic formula, a basic remedy. I didn't follow that specifically. That's just good recommendations based on logic, okay? Hope that makes sense, and I hope that helps you out. This is spinning power moves and that kind of stuff, which does have a foundation with um, some balance moves and some strength moves too, okay? And like blow up base moves, but this is the spinning power move evolution chart. And then from stage three, we go on to stage four but i don't want to call it stage four because um that just sounds like another number let's call it let's call it plus plus beef stage plus beefcake booty pop extreme so you take everything you've learned from your basics and 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 your advanced stages and now you're doing crazier stuff. You're you're evolving. Um, you guys, once you get here, you you kind of would know that you would know what to do. It's like, what's the next level? One-handed air flares, 2.0s, 20 plus 90s. Your own crazy shit. Is now you're thinking about revolution. You want to change stuff. You want to come up with the new crazy thing, the next big thing. You're taking stuff to the next level because it doesn't stop. It keeps going. That's the idea with the chart. You'll notice on the side I have combos. And the combos go from one to other, back, back and forth. It's just logic with the combos. Start practicing on, once you get to this step, start comboing stuff with the previous steps. Once you get to this step, previous steps. You combo it and then you combo back up because you're, you're going throughout all the stages. It's just common sense. It makes, I hope that, hopefully that makes sense. 
And hopefully this video helps you guys out, okay? And, and you guys can feel free to change this up however you want, okay? Don't have to follow this 100%. You don't even have to follow it at all. It's just a general guideline based on, on, on my opinion and what I think is a good, good idea and a good way to help prevent injury and uh, build up a stable base and make you accelerate in, in, in an efficient manner without taking too much time but without doing it in a stupid way, okay? Hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be seeing you next week. All right, so a lot of you guys are probably gonna be asking like, yo, what order did you learn in? Like, how did you follow this thing? Okay, I'll show you kind of how I went about it. Doesn't exactly follow this thing. And um, you gotta make mistakes though. So, uh, Basically, I was in general shape and like weight training, running, and etc. So basically, I started uh, with backspin, all right? So yeah, definitely just kind of backspin. And um, then I kind of started to try to work on handstands a little bit and then headstands just because the first thing I wanted to learn was head spins. And by trying to learn head spins, I was doing a lot of headstands, okay? So the first move I get down is head spins. Then I took this and evolved it into the windmill, okay? So blah, 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 and then the windmill. Oops. From there, I was like, okay, I want to take my uh, windmill head spin combo. So I, I combo, try to combo those two with the backspin too. And, th and then I was like, all right, I want to learn elbow tracks off the, uh, the head spin. So um, elbow tracks you can consider in the, air, in the air flight stage, okay, like with air flares. So elbow tracks, air flares, similar. But then I blew up my elbow, got, so then I blew up my elbow, got infected with staff, and then so I stopped from that, and then I was like, dang, took a little bit off. So, you know what? I'll just go for air flares to stay off my elbow. So then I, and then I started working on just air flares, okay? So then we started working on air flares and a um, little bit of uh, just dead man 90s in there on and off. Um, and then flares as well. So with air flares, I was like, okay, I should probably learn flares as well. Got air flares first. Then my flares started to lift off the ground after I kind of had air flares a little bit better. Um... Then we went from fair and um, then we learned halos, okay? And that's just the, basically the, the basics, the basic big moves that I've learned in order. However, I did learn like other spins when I had head spins, like I was trying to do uh, elbow spins at one time. And then I also have been messing around with mill variations at one time after I learned windmills, uh, like little stuff in and out. And then um, I've definitely tried one-handed air flares a lot of, like, for a long time. Have not successfully completed one though yet. Yet. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, Alright, peace. <laughs>